one of the big questions now with Biden is, was Biden involved in this targeting of Trump, the targeting of a political opponent? Trump is the leading candidate on the Republican side. Trump is beating even Ron DeSantis, the second runner-up, by at least, you know, double. Uh, Trump is probably going to be the one that Biden goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with. And Biden himself actually recently, maybe it was, a, it was a slip of the tongue, Biden actually stated that Trump might win. And now you have the guy who might beat Biden at the polls being thrown in prison, allegedly, you know, it's supposed to be today, but we'll see if it happens, right? They're saying this. This is the House Judiciary, Com Judiciary Committee Chair Jim Jordan. He says, was the Manhattan DA's office in communication with DOJ about their investigation of Trump? Was the Manhattan DA's office using federal funds to investigate President Trump? Alvin Bragg owes our committee answers. And he published this very long letter on Twitter. Um, I, I pull a couple quotes out of here el illustrating it. Basically, this again, this is the House Judiciary Committee. And they state, essentially, the nature of why this is politically motivated. They state why this is unethical. And they say this, quote, in this letter addressed to Bragg. Your decision to pursue such a politically motivated prosecution, which they outlined in evidence, while adopting progressive criminal justice policies that allow career criminals to run the streets of Manhattan, requires congressional scrutiny about how, about how public safety funds appropriated by Congress are implemented by local law enforcement agencies. In addition, your apparent decision to pursue criminal charges where federal authorities decline to do so requires oversight to inform potential legislative reform about the delineation of prosecutorial authority between federal and local officials. It continues requesting all documents from Bragg's office, uh, all documents and communications with the Department of Justice and any other federal agency, and other also uh, key individuals tied to the case. So they're trying to get, they're launching an investigation into Bragg now looking to see whether Biden's is involved with this, looking to see whether there is, you know, political voices whispering in his ear uh, that made him do this, and seeing whether crimes were committed in the targeting of President Trump. And interestingly, they're also calling now for Bragg to come and testify before Congress, something that if he doesn't do would be uh, contempt of Congress and would be a crime. You're seeing Bragg get investigated, in other words. Bragg is now being targeted himself with this. And you also have Trump calling out Biden directly on this as well to illustrate how the narrative is shifting with this. Biden, for his part, is saying he's accusing Trump essentially of trying to undermine the justice system. Uh, the left is pointing to this and saying the Republicans are targeting a prosecutor. Trump is targeting a prosecutor. Trump is going to be arrested. He should just go with the normal flow of justice. The, the Republicans are saying this is not real justice. This is politicized justice. And to call out politicized justice is a necessity to uphold true justice. That's the difference in the narratives, right? Trump wrote this, though. He said Biden wants to pretend he has nothing to do with the Manhattan DA's assault on democracy when, in fact, he has stuffed the DA's office with Department of Injustice people. He's talking about Department of Justice, including one top DOJ operative from D.C. who is actually running the horse face witch hunt. He calls it's Trump. He, he calls Stormy Daniels horse face. And Trump continues stating that Bragg is a Soros racist in reverse who is taking his orders from D.C., from Biden, he's suggesting. I beat them twice, doing much better the second time, and despite their disinformation campaign, they don't want to run against Trump of or my great record. So based on this, this is important. If Trump is telling the truth here, what he's suggesting is that Bragg's office does, in fact, have direct involvement from the Department of Justice, meaning that if the House Judiciary Committee is requesting documents to see whether the federal government has resources that may be influencing this, 
they will very they will very likely find that evidence and that evidence will become key a key example of the federalization of this of this prosecution basically suggesting that this is political targeting of Biden's enemy that this is political persecution of a political enemy DC Drano individual who used to work with Trump said this Biden knows if his regime prosecutes President Trump, the process loses all legitimacy. But if a state attorney arrests Trump, there's plausible deniability that Biden is behind it. This is why Biden sent DOJ lawyers into the New York City DA to do his dirty work. Now, was that the case? Take it for what you will. Remember, we talked previously about this Hillary Clinton, you know, this Hillary Clinton lawyer, uh, did work on these cases, went to the DA's office, specifically worked on the on the Stormy Daniels case. That individual did it pro bono. He did not even want money for it, suggesting he was getting money from somewhere else. Probably did not even want money for it. After they were found to not have enough evidence to target Trump, the individual went and wrote a book based on an ongoing investigation, did media tours, and used that as a way to target Trump when they found they could not politically or legally target Trump. So there is basis for this. In other words, there's significant basis for this. And if there were communications on this, the House Judiciary Committee is about to get that evidence because the House Judiciary Committee is now requesting these exact documents. In other words, the case is there, the evidence is there to an extent, uh, and we will now be shown, ironically because they wanted to target Trump like this, the emails, text messages, and other communications illustrating this. This is going to backfire on them spectacularly. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene said this, Biden's DOJ is coordinating with the Democrat Manhattan DA to arrest Donald Trump, the top Republican president, presidential candidate for 2024, and charge him with a fake, outdated misdemeanor charge. And that's justifiably said because, again, it's actually past the statute. It's beyond the statute of limitations. Um, you, you can't even legally be charged based on that, which is why they have to elevate it to a felony. And then she's saying it's all for politics. This is why they do. This is what they do in communist countries to destroy their political opponents. Republicans in Congress must subpoena these communists and end this. We have the power to do it, and we must also have the power to defend their sa and we also have the power to de to defund their salaries and departments. Enough of this. The American people deserve a government that actually works for them, not a bunch of self-centered communists who bail out their donors, protect their elites, and wield their power to punish their political enemies. I'll emphasize again, folks, what you're watching are the 2024 talking points. These are the 2024 presidential campaign talking points. And what you're seeing as well is the House Republicans and the GOP in general aligning behind Trump with their political narratives for 2024. If this was politically motivated to target Trump, they have ironically galvanized and united the Republicans behind Trump and gave them basically visual evidence of everything they were claiming was happening. The narrative that there's there's a politicization of the justice system. The narrative that the attacks on Trump are illegitimate and unjust and that they're being done politically. The narrative that we're being ruled by a bunch of totalitarian communists. These are the things Trump was pushing. These are the things that the, you know, quote unquote MAGA Republicans were claiming that Biden was trying to separate from the Republican base, basically. All of that has changed now because of Alvin Bragg. All of that has now changed because of this prosecution. All of that is now shifted. And you see now a uniting and an energizing, ironically, of the Republican Party behind Trump, which they, it was unclear if that was going to happen.